So guys, I wanted to share with you um, something that I have been thinking about, something that happened that I've been kind of trying to figure out what to do with. Um, so my husband actually gets the Google alerts on my name mm -hmm. because I don't always like to see everything that's being said about me online. And so he kind of filters through them and then tells me what I need to know or not. So the other day he came to me and he said, you know, I thought you should know about this thing that Rush Limbaugh said about you on his show. So I can pull up the transcript here. Here's what Mr. Limbaugh said about me. Remember the name Crystal Ball with a K? Some thought she was attractive. She was running for Congress and she got elected, not true, and some tweets came out. She posed nude when she was 14 or 15. She was outraged. How dare you, I said. What do you expect to happen? You put a picture of yourself nude on Facebook or MySpace or, you know, my butt, whatever it is. Somebody's going to find that stuff. Um, so, first of all, I did not pose nude when I was 14 or 15. Uh, Facebook and MySpace did not even exist when I was 14 or 15. Uh, you know, I didn't tweet about anything related to that. I think what he's referring to here in a very bizarre way is the fact that when I did run for Congress, there were some party photos that came out of me that caused some like the this. The dumbest scandals. The dumbest. History. And so I think in the yeah. Trump era, this was so minimal that it was party photos that he felt the need to make this much more salacious in order to titillate his audience. So look, you know, something like this happens, you're like, do I just ignore it or do I want to say something about it? And the bottom line is, number one, he's got millions of followers, fans, and this transcript is out there online. So I wanted to correct the record. Number two, you know, not everyone has the platform mm. that I have to be able to call him out and set the record straight. And I don't want to feel like he can just slime whoever he wants and get away with it with no accountability. But number three, if I did have some naked photos from when I was 14 or 15 or whenever, who freaking cares? It is your, not your job to be the moral police or to shame me or any other young woman who is out there who may have nude photos that come out. If they want to run for office, if they want to be political leaders, they still can. And I wanted to make sure that I was able to put that message out there. I'm glad you did, Crystal. Uh, so disgusting, whatever he said about you. He should know about America's libel laws and that you would be fully within your rights in order to go after him if you wanted to. And you're right. Uh, for everybody who's ever run for Congress, it's a lesson that your career and your success after that is really just a demonstration that this crap is not going to fly. And anybody on the right who wants to try and make this a thing, um, I, we'll, we can go outside after this. <laughs> I mean, look, slut shaming is an old tactic in American politics, in world politics, you know, it's used to say that women aren't worthy of being anything other than sexual objects. And frankly, it's bullshit. And I didn't want to let it slide without calling and it And you out. shouldn't. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you for being so brave here. Those are my thoughts. Tomorrow on Rising, we're going to have all the highlights and the lowlights from tonight's debate. And Young Turks' Cenk Uger, Hill TV's Jamal Simmons are just a few of the voices that you will hear from, along with how college students reacted to the matchups. Be sure to click subscribe, hit the bell on YouTube so you know when we post all the new videos. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Hill TV Live. Enjoy the debates tonight, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Hit subscribe.